Hey y'all, it's me Kimberly with KD's Craft Corner. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we are going to be unboxing my Diamond Painting Club by Easy Whim. And before we get started on this, I just wanted to go ahead and say like the title I'm thinking says. I haven't really decided on the exact title. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it in the title. This is being canceled. This is only the second box that I have received. This is my May box. I have not received my April box, and my June box is on the way. Um, I have no idea where my April box is. Um, it's from what I've seen, uh, I saw Donnie open her box, her uh, May box, and she said that her April box was missing, but she's already got her June box too. I have not got my June box. My June box doesn't show it's even arrived in the U.S. yet. Um, but uh, my April box has, and it's been sitting in California for like two months now. Um, but, um, I, after watching Donnie open hers, I really got disappointed in hers. I got mine the same day, I think, and I didn't open it right away. Um, I opened it then after watching Donnie's video and saw that I did have pretty much the same stuff except for the diamond paintings. Um, and it was really a disappointment. Um, the diamond paintings are not good quality. They're, I have noticed that they have got a lot of stolen images. Um, that are actually artists work, which I do not want to support and um, I don't think the boxes are worth the $65 that they are charging for them and that is why it's taken me so long to film this video which I will go into more detail on in just a minute. I'm going to pause the video for just a second, move the box out of the way, get it open and get started on showing you what is in it. Like I said, everything I've got pretty much is the same as what Donnie had except for the diamond paintings. So I will be right back. Okay, to start off with, um, every one of these comes with a letter like this um, that gives you what is in your box and everything. Um, since I've already looked at the box, I don't mind pulling this out and showing you this. Um, and going ahead and talking about it a little bit. I guess, but yeah, they tell you that it's your May box of diamond painting and craft goodies, or goodness is what they call it. Um, your artist box, which is $65, $64.99. Um, they have an all diamond painting box. They have, um, I meant to have that open, and I actually think I do. I just don't have the page open. Yeah, I do have it open. Um, they have, well, I thought I had it open on the club thing. There it is. Okay, they have a club mini, which comes with a large diamond painting kit. Their thing moves constantly. It is $17.99. Um, regular, it, well, they say that's on sale, $17.99. Then they have a member box, which comes with two large diamond paintings. And fifty dollars worth of surprise crafts. Um, it's forty nine ninety nine, and then this is the artist box, which is supposed to be one extra large and two large diamond painting kits. Which their version of the large diamond painting kit is a thirty by forty. That's not a large. That's more of a medium, in my opinion. Um, the artist box is sixty four ninety nine, and it comes with seventy dollars. They say worth of surprise crafts. Then there's a pure DP box, which is supposed to be one extra large, three large, and two medium diamond paintings. It is $59.99, and um, that would be like one, uh, what is it, 40 by 50 is what they're calling an extra large. And then you get two 30 by 40s, and then um, two mediums, which I guess mediums would be like a probably 20 by 30, I guess. And then there is a master box, which comes with two extra large, three large diamond paintings. And so it would be two uh, 40 by 50s, three 30 by 40s, and then they claim $80 worth of surprise crafts. And it's $99.99. Um, one of the first things that disappointed me is... This is basically how my inventory sheets came. They were all, I think it was more like this, wadded up kind of like this over in one end. 
and so they're I mean they've been in the box for like two months <laughs> and they're in, they are a total mess and hard to straighten out they're gonna be impossible to put through my Zyron but not only that you can't even read them and I think Donnie actually showed this to you um, I'm gonna try and get a little bit I'm sorry there are some shadows uh, some of my lights are battery powered and I had forgot to charge them and uh, they're rechargeable actually and so I've got them plugged in and they're not quite as powerful when they are plugged in but I've got a new bar light and I need to get a second one and it's on like this side of my table and my two battery powered lights are on towards me so if there's shadows in this video I am very sorry that's my fault um, and but if I get a second one of these bars I'm gonna have one on one side of my uh, table and one on the other side and that way there won't be any shadows and I won't have to worry about recharging because uh, this one it's actually electric and it comes with a remote and it has all kinds of different settings and it's excellent for diamond painting and everything because it can get really bright uh, but anyway you can barely read this is so dark and so small um, you can't see the symbols on most of those little squares um, but um, my diamond paintings I was able to find two of them on Aliexpress and the reason I looked on Aliexpress is because uh, this box comes from China and so to get comparable prices I went on Aliexpress my diamond paintings are this wolf sorry if I'm shaking it's late at night and I really ought to be in bed but I couldn't sleep so I'm filming uh, this wolf right here which I've seen a lot this one was a 40 by 30 and um, the wolf I found for nine dollars and seventy seven cents on Aliexpress and I actually meant to add everything up so I found it for 977 this tiger I hadn't changed my stuff to all dragons and fairies before this um, especially wolves and dragons and fairies but I ended up with a tiger which is not among the wolves it's not wolves and tigers it was just wolves but this tiger was one of them which I don't mind because Clemson tigers are right next door but I also have like four Clemson or Tiger diamond paintings. Uh, but anyway, this is kind of like a multicolored uh, rainbow tiger. Um, and it is a 40 by 50. It was my large one, which probably should have been one of these smaller ones because it's up close. And it could afford to be smaller, but it was my big one. And I found that exact tiger for $12.90 on Aliexpress then this one is one of my small ones it is a fairy I believe I haven't opened up the actual diamond painting I'll open that up with y'all on a dragon and um, it's one of the smaller ones and with that much detail it should have been one of the bigger ones and I think that's the same issue that Donnie had um, she had one like this I don't know if it's this exact diamond painting or if it's a similar one but she had the same issue where like yeah you know, the dragon was kind of in focus but the like fairy's face which this one honestly looks like a porn star riding a dragon according to the small picture and me being female that really thrilled me but anyway um i could not find that exact one but i found some similar to it they were around the ten dollar range so i'm going to be generous and i'm just going to say that one was around 13 bucks on Aliexpress I had seen that painting before on Aliexpress but I could not for the life of me find it this time so anyway let's get to the other items the first one same as Donnie's and I keep saying same as Donnie's I didn't mention this is diamond painting by Donnie um, a lot of you probably already know who she is you've been watching her videos for a long time um, but anyway I got the exact same one the owl led um it's battery powered i think or you can do usb um comes with your basic diamond painting kit with the pink wax pink pen some baggies and a green boat then there are the rhinestones that go with it um i'm hoping 
mine is not like hers. I have not like investigated it purely. Yeah, battery powered or USB. Hers, when she went to pull the film off, the glue came off too. Now I'm lucky. My glue is not coming off on that side. And it's not coming off on that side. So my glue is not coming off. They didn't put it on the wrong way. So that's one one thing that I have that she didn't have. Um, I know she pulled off one side and the uh, glue started coming off of it. But my Alwards, I wouldn't have chosen my Alward probably. Um, I have looked at these um, and I was going to get one. But I was going to get a unicorn to give to my cousin um, to put in his little girl's room. Uh, one of his little girls loves unicorns. The other one's not old enough to know what she loves. Uh, they're both adopted, both of their daughters. Well, one's adopted during their wedding to find out if they're going to be able to adopt. But anyway, uh, this owl LED painting, you can get the exact LED painting for around $10 on AliExpress. So let's add that to our running total. Let's see, set that aside. Then, um, I believe that Donnie got the exact same hanging pendant. I would, definitely would not have chosen this. Um, I would have chosen like a butterfly or flowers or something. I would not have chosen these colors if I had chosen a mandala. Um, but this is kind of like, um, made out of the same kind of stuff. Uh, oh, what else is made out of this that they do? Um those little zippered bags and stuff. It's like a pleather like material. Real flimsy. Um, it gets hot. It will curl. Um, you hang it up, it probably will start to curl in on itself unless you do something to because uh, it's already a little bit curled. It's not laying flat. But I imagine it will curl up on itself. Um, it comes with this little hanging piece. Um, you attach these little clips for these little flight marks. There's these little marks right here. You attach these little clips to it and pinch it into there. So it does attach like way over here, but once you attach it over there, I got a feeling that the weight is going to cause it to curl anyway once you get all these diamonds on it. Because the chain is going to, which is really not going to hang very far. It's only going to hang about that far up. So it's you're not going to be able to, like, dangle it very far, I guess you could say. Um, it does have some really pretty, huge, like, fuchsia, magenta-like um, diamonds or drills, rhinestones, whatever. I can't think my, my words won't come out right. Um, in all fairness, I like the plastic bag better than I do the diamond bag. Um, but there are some pretty colors in it. Um, I just, I don't like this yellow here, and there's probably going to be these large gold beads to go around that. Um, if I had to guess, that's probably what goes there. If they don't go there, then they go on the sevens. Let's see. And so, that's even super, super sticky where it's been traveling for so long. So you got, that says nine, but that would be eight. So they're even like um, marked wrong because nine is much smaller. These are huge. That should be number eight, not number nine. That is probably number eight right there. Or number nine, excuse me. Yeah, that does say number nine on it. So why they got a nine on that bag is beyond me. Let's see. Number ten is going to be these gold ones right here. And yeah, number seven is going to be these large gold ones. And there's a whole group of blue stragglers that have hitchhiked in those golds. And in the purples. I say they come out of these two. There's your colors. Red, pink, gold, 
blue, green, purple, these large gold cabochons, there's several bags in them, these gold uh, marquee shapes, and then these glittery gold ones, which I imagine, I hope the glitter doesn't come off of those, I hate the ones with the glitter comes off of, and then these large green ones, and then the large pink marquee shaped ones. And these, I can't believe how lightweight these feel. They're cheap. These are more expensive than these. Anyway. Let me slide that back in there. Instead of you watching me put this up, I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, next item. Exactly the same as Miss Donnie. Is the scratch postcards, scratch art postcards. Um, they did send one of these little scratch pencils like Donnie had. Um, these, if you ever do scratch art, do not use these. Um, these will actually, they're not sharp enough, pointed enough to do the detail work. Um, just a second, let me see if I can reach it. I probably can't. Nope, I can't. I actually have a whole scratch art kit that you can buy off Amazon that has uh, metal tipped um, pens that go that do this much easier. Um, they've got different size metal tips, and there's a little brush that comes with it and everything. And you can okay, come on, open up, and you can do much better detail. You can do the fine lines and stuff like that, and. I cannot get my fingernail in there. Come on. There we go. You can tell it's been in the heat for a long time in that southern heat because half the glue is still here. That's the reason it was open. Because the glue is transferring. Um, but if it's like Donnie's, there will be four postcards. And let's see, what did I do with my scissors? Oh crap, I think I covered them up. I moved a bunch of stuff off my desk that was in my way. Yep, I covered them up. Probably covered up my measuring tape too that I'll need when I go to measure the uh, diamond paintings. Which I can't tell you their diamond paintings are not true to size when it says a 30 by 40. It's more like a 25 by uh, 35 and yet another plastic container or plastic wrap this, this one wasn't as hard to open and these could never be used as postcards like Donnie mentioned in her video um, they would get destroyed in the mail. You'd have to put them in an envelope and then they'd still probably still get destroyed. Uh, but with these little wooden pencils, you would never be able to do these really fine lines for the fireworks or the fine line and little tiny dots coming off the airplane. You would never be able to do those because it'd end up being this really big, thick. You couldn't do the spires on these buildings. Um, no, no, Donnie was trying to figure out what was what but I think they are multiple cities because you've got the Eiffel Tower you've got the Statue of Liberty uh, that is the theater in Australia that's the Leaning Tower of Pisa that looks like the uh, what do you call it in uh, Greece um, that I think would be in China there's Big Ben so it's multiple cities this um that looks like the white house that again is um is it australia that has that that's one of the olympic fields or is it china it's one of the olympic uh stadiums um that would be in rio de janeiro um yeah, I think that building, that looks like, um, what is it, the Chrysler? Is it the Chrysler building? Um, that building, I think, is in 
cannot think of it. Either one of these. But I think there are multiple cities in most of these. Now this one right here does look like one city, but I'm not real sure. Which one it is? Because it doesn't look like it's a bunch of like thrown together cities from other countries like these do. And now this, you know, you got the London Bridge. Um, I want to say that might be the London Eye. But then this looks like India. So, I mean, each one of these is a different city. Except maybe that one. I'm not real sure on this one. Because all of this looks kind of the same. Because you've got these statues on either side. and Hmm. Might have to do some research and see if I can figure out. But anyway, this four-part postcard you can get on Amazon. You can also get it on AliExpress. And on AliExpress, you can get this scratch art for approximately $14. I believe it was like $13.97 was like the average price that I found for it. I wasn't looking for like the absolute best price. I was looking for average prices. So let's put in $14. And then last but not least is this Pegacorn. <laughs> As so I think somebody mentioned in Donnie's comments because it is a Pegasus and it's a unicorn. Problem is, there's two different mythical creatures. I've never seen a Pegasus with a horn and never seen a unicorn with wings. So it's confusing. But anyway, it calls it a unicorn. Go figure. But this is a 3D puzzle that you put together. You can paint the individual pieces and everything and put it all together. And I found this exact piece on AliExpress for $10.71. And that means that comes out to $70.38. And it's supposed to be, what is it? $70 worth of artist crafts. Well, $70 on their website, mainly, maybe. But I can buy these exact same crafts. Plus the diamond paintings, all for $70. So what did I say? $4? $5? Somewhere along in there. $5.38? 39 cents? By paying 65 bucks for their box. Not exactly a great deal. Anyway. Let's open up the diamond paintings and look at them. Uh, the one thing that I do like about their diamond paintings is that the uh, stuff comes bagged like this. But I think that Donnie showed her jean box. And I don't remember in her jean box. I want to say in the jean box they did not have them in Ziploc baggies anymore. But I won't guarantee it. I don't remember now what her jean box showed. Um, their kits. Got three diamond painting kits. Um, comes with a very large pink wax. Uh, a clear pen with a squishy and a couple of multi-placers. And then you get the white boat. And then they send you these cheap tweezers, which I usually toss in the garbage. Um, I do think she showed in her jean box. They actually sent nice tweezers, but... It was with round diamond paintings, and so the nice tweezers were, like, of no use. Um, well, they're not of no use. They're of no use for the diamond paintings. Now, I will happily take those nice tweezers that they send me. It'd be probably the best thing out of the box. But anyway. Now, I have already canceled. I will not be getting another box past June. Um... In fact, I didn't actually officially cancel. I complained like crazy to them about the fact that the April boxes weren't here yet. And that, yet again, I found stolen images. And, like, this one I do know is a stolen image. Um, I'm going to show it on here. And hopefully I don't get copyright striked. Um, but I'm not earning any money yet. So, it's not exactly like it's being monetized. So, whoever, if the artist is, 
please don't copyright strike me because like I said I'm not being monetized and once I am I will probably take these videos off my uh, page anyway let's see if I can get this started and we'll see if we can get a better foot that's not good hate it when they tear okay come on straighten out There I go, tearing it more. Okay, come on, Kim, get with it. I am going to completely just take this paper off because I will go ahead and recover these with my parchment paper. So I'm not really worried about tearing it. I'll probably pause between each one and get them recovered and because I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do that because I have little four inch squares of copy paper. I mean, I can't even think of what I was trying to say of butcher's paper or whatever. I just grabbed the first tweezers that I found and unfortunately they're flat ones, but it worked. Okay, last section. So you can get a good view of the entire thing. And see that it sucks. Turn it this way because that's actually the way that it is going. And you really can't see the dragon. You can't really see the girl. Her face is nothing but a blur. Her eyes are just blurs. In fact, she only has one eye, really. There's like one little dot for that eye. And there's maybe four for that one. But it's more like that's her eyebrows and her eyes. All in one. And it's just the same colors. All the way across there. But yeah, she's riding a dragon. And she's a little bit porn starish. <laughs> but anyway... Yeah, that's it. It is the like 40 by 30, which means it's more like 25 by 35. Um, I'm not going to take the time to measure it or anything. Well, I do have my measuring tape right here. Oop, wow, that's loud and clicky. I'll just put it right here. The actual field is... 39-ish. It's the closest to the actual thing that they've ever had it. And that way is actually 30. Surprise, surprise. That's the closest they've ever had it. Usually it's less. Um, but yeah, this should have been like a 40 by 50 at the least. Probably bigger. Uh, because considering the fact that there's a dragon and there's a girl with her face and they're not like it's not just the head and the face. It needs a lot of detail. So it needs to be bigger. So it's, it's, I'm just not satisfied with it. It's not going to be a pretty diamond painting. I'll probably never do it. It is 35 colors and you can actually see the colors better on here than you can on the inventory sheet that they gave. And there is the drill field. Sorry, I'm not zooming in and out real well. Oh, shit. Blech. Sorry, did not mean to cuss. I'm not zooming in and out or anything. I'm just bringing it closer up. But anyway, I'm going to pause. I'm going to put the paper on this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, there's my parchment paper down on this one. I didn't even care how carefully I put it down because I honestly don't think I will ever do this one. 
Um, it may end up being given away to a friend. I don't know. I got a friend. She takes any rejects that I offer her. Well, actually, her mom does. Okay. This one is the Wolf. Another 30 by 40. Um, I'm not going to go through the uh, drills on these. Um, it just takes up too much time, and this video is already much longer than it needs to be. And in all honesty, I'm just not impressed. Another foam roller to go away. Not a big fan of foam rollers. I mean, I understand it kind of helps the diamond painting, but considering the fact these are in a box, if they'd be careful how to box them, they wouldn't really have to worry about the, diamond, the foam rollers. Now, this one could have afforded to be a smaller one because it's a close up of the wolf's face. Um, it's not the best picture of a wolf, in my opinion. So far, I haven't been impressed with any of their wolf pictures. Let's see. Here's my sharper tweezers. There we go. So there it is. Don't know how well it is. You seen it's not very colorful. I've seen this much more colorful. Um, it does have a little river right there. Don't really care about rivers that much. They're easy to get rid of. In fact, I have this, which I think I've shown it before. Um, this is a ceramic blade. It barely sticks out of there. So it's really good for repairing canvases because you're not going to cut through the canvas. If you just need to cut through the glue and you don't have to bear down very hard like you do with an exacto. And anyway, that's how you fix a river. It is just crisscrossing back and forth on the glue where the river is. And it will start to lay flat. And the river is virtually gone now. I usually run my fingers over it, usually with something down on it, but now we pull that back up, and the river is gone. It's no longer there. But anyway, this is the wolf. It is 35 colors. Um, most of those colors will be browns, grays. Um, there's only like a little bit of blue. In fact, one of the pictures I've seen like this is further out a little bit. And you can actually see there's a sunset over here. And you can actually see the sunset. They've kind of like cropped this image. Um, so it's not the best. I mean, it's, there's more color in the one with all the sunset. Uh, but anyway... That's this one. I'm going to cover it back up, and I will be right back with the last one. Okay, I am back with the last one. Um, I keep turning off my light. Sorry about that. This light over here, I turned it off over and over again with my elbow, my arm. I glued myself to this painting. This is probably the best of the three paintings. Uh, this multicolored tiger. Um, it is the 40 by 50. It is 45 colors. Um, it's extremely colorful. Um, it's very big. It's very bold. It's very detailed. Um, again, like I said, one of the best ones. You can actually even see each one of the whiskers and everything. Um, I wish the fairy had been this big and this one could have been a little smaller. I didn't make y'all watch me struggle with this one because this one was a pain in the tail. It wanted to roll back up over and over again. I glued myself to it. Got my arm and my hand both stuck. <laughs> It kept wanting to curl back up. I almost stuck it to the table. 
I mean, all kinds of stuff. But anyway, we finally got it unrolled. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because this video is already too, too long. Um, like I said, I don't think the video, the boxes are worth it. Um, if you are subscribed to it, I would exercise caution and maybe do it on a month-to-month -month basis um, because I really don't think it's worth it. And if you want to support artists, then you're not going to be supporting them by buying this box because they are not licensing the artists. They're, they've got stolen images on their website. They have sent out stolen images. Um, I only got one in my first box, and I'm pretty sure that that dragon is a stolen image. Um, I don't know about the tiger, and the I didn't actually go on Tiny Eye and look this time. Um, but I don't know about the other two, but I'm pretty sure the dragon is. Um, but anyway, I just, I can't support someone who is doing images that are not, that are not contributing back to the artists. Uh, that's why I like Diamond Art Club and, uh, Dreamer Designs and stuff like that because they actually do, uh, Distracted by Diamonds. There are several of them. They actually do pay the artists for their work and that's the way it should be because those artists work hard um i actually today sent over several links i don't know what they can do about it but i found a whole lot of anna lynn including some of their licensed diamond art club on aliexpress when i was looking for the dragons um i found a bunch of her stuff on there and i was like seriously uh, so I've sent it to her and I've sent it to Diamond Art Club. I don't know if they can do anything about it since it's China, but hopefully they can. Um, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it keeps you from spending money on this company um, because I just I can't condone it. I can't endorse it. I don't think anyone should subscribe to it. Um, if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Tell me anything that you would like for me to have on this channel. And I will see you guys on the next one. Um, and tell your friends about me. Anyway, bye.